Hey guys, and welcome back to another CAFCast. Today we are taking a look at Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom and the battle for the Heartlands. This is the fourth and final demo that we're going to get a chance to take a look at today, and I'm so excited to finish this off. It's been a really, really fun experience. It's taken me right back into the first games, which I loved so much. Played them on stream, uh, and I think they were a really, really nice experience for everyone to get behind. If you you would like to see a let's play of this game on this channel let us know in the comments down below make sure that you like the video and subscribe and all those fancy things as well because um, i can see in the analytics and everything what you guys like the most and those are the things obviously that we'll continue to play but without further ado the fourth demo the battle for the heartlands take to the field with evan's forces and fight your way through the bandits blocking the way to pastures new okay this sounds like it may be a new kind of mechanic for these games. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll give it a go and see how it goes. I'm not sure where this kind of like comes along in the timeline, but so far we've been going sort of backwards and forwards between different bits and pieces because apparently this is the right way to play it. Okay, to arms! <laughs> the Heartlands, here's a Bonza place for our base. Is he Australian? No, I need yet though. Take out these flaming bastards. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Well, it looks like we've got the uh, that pirate chap helping us out a little bit here. All right. We're gonna teach him a lesson. Army on army battles. Evan can command up to four units of soldiers in a pitched battle between opposing forces. Most troops will attack automatically when an enemy draws near. Protect them to gain a tactical edge with L1 and R1. Oh my God. Okay. Sure. Okay. Ready? Slice. Oh, I see. Okay, so it looks like sword guys are better against archery units. As you can see. Makes sense. So, take out those guys. Take out those guys. Very good, very good. So a little bonus here that we can get, apparently. The guts gauge. Hold on our button to use the guts gauge to approve attacking with an all-out assault. Hold on, a button. Oh, okay, X is all out of salt. Uh, I'm sorry, square is all out of salt, and X is quick march. Okay, so if I do this, oh, that's so cool. There you go. Okay, I think there's also this magic one over here. I'm thinking maybe the the archery units do better against those guys. Yeah, it seems to be because they're defensive against the ranged guys. Oh, they're not. No, they're not. Okay, <laughs> well then I don't know. I don't I have no idea. We'll just go and just do what I expect we have to do, which is just destroy them all. Oh, this is so good. I'm just kind of saving my guts gauge. I probably shouldn't. Probably should just use it, shouldn't I? Okay. Well, let's do the march. Where are we going? Units will various up to various tights. Yeah, so the swords are strong against uh, hammers. Or I guess maybe that's magic. Magic are strong against ranged, and ranged uh, work well against... Swords, well, spears, by weapons against swords. Uh, the advantage is yours, blue arrow will be displayed. And it may have the advantage to be red. Okay, that makes sense. Although the, the the ones that we have here, the two that we have here, didn't really show. Okay, so it did say that swords are better against these guys. That's the advantage, right? And then this is a disadvantage? Yes, you can see that it is. <laughs> okay, all right. So if we do an all-out assault using our melee dudes, our guts gauge does uh, empty quite quickly, but also fills up automatically as well. All right, now we're cooking with gas. There's some more guys coming in here. They've got a special tactic, but the special tactic gauge, give them a try. Uh, Chingy's special tactic. Chingy's can all oh, cause an airstrike. Press triangle while holding R2. So it's triangle or square while holding R2. Okay. Ah, oh, there he is. Tyron the Untamed. There he is. I will destroy you, my friend. Good old fashioned advantage. And there we go. Good stuff. Wipe off the face of the earth. Oh, I obliterated that guy. That's hilarious. Oh, that's the wrong. That's a weakness. My bad. My bad, guys. There he is. He is, he is beaten. I did kill you off. Okay, we're not done yet. We're not done yet, you drone guys. You flaming drone guys. <laughs> That's hilarious. 
Okay. Are you guys ready? Charge! Oh, that's so cool. No. Oh, okay, so we could just, like, do that. Okay. <laughs> oh, that is so good. Wow, okay. We can defeat their battlements quite easily. And try and destroy their... These things, where this is. Yeah, I guess it's, like, melee. Very nice. Okay. So. We're doing well. It's good that they always show the little icon in the top right corner to show you which is good against what. Because that makes it a little bit easier to kind of, like, no, keep your mind on it. I like it. Alright, here we go. Attack! It's like spinning it around repeatedly. Everyone's good against this look. Perfect. So that's been destroyed. More Guts Gauge for us. And then Shock Attacks are good because they make us invincible for a short period of time. Okay. You still want me? You ain't gonna attack me, Ed, man. You're a Drongo. You're a flaming Drongo. I'll take you all on, son. That was amazing. This is amazing. Okay, need to get some more glory. That's glory. Oh, it's a bit hardcore. There we go. I think we've got the... the, the is there the attack coming in? This one. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Another flaming attack. And then the sword guy is against these hammer chaps. And we're in. Okay. We're almost there. I wasn't ready. He blacks down fire fear. But you'll pay for this. Trust me. He's off again. No, friend. You'll pay for this. <laughs> Indeed. There's original. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, man. Okay. Is that it? Okay. Fantastic. That was really fun, actually. I like that. These kind of like mini game mechanics sometimes can feel a bit tacked on, like the uh, snowboarding mission in front of it, as you said. Uh, but uh, it is a lot of fun either way. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this little look into the demos behind Nino Kuni 2. I've had so much fun playing this, and I'm sure you guys would like to see a Let's Play. But if you do, and you want to see us play the full campaign of Reverend Kingdom here on our YouTube channel, let us know in the comments down below and also drop a like and make sure you are subscribed because the more people that sub on these videos and let us know what they think, the more chance we have of actually doing a full campaign. But until then, and until next time, have a very good day. I'll see you all again next time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. You've been watching the Kefcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos!